Hey everybody, Michael here, and I know you have all been asking for an update on the LAPS plus PS free exploit, and I am pleased to tell you that there has been some major progress that has happened since my last video. So just to catch everybody up to speed, right around seven days ago, I released a video and it was all about this user called ABC who posted a new LAPS exploit. It was a kernel exploit that worked on the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 5. Now, what they did was they released the code here, and with the code, we saw that it was PS3 versions, but it only worked on a PS4 version 8.0. Now, fast forward to a couple of days later, we saw a version that came out by Chameleon, which was just called PS3 over here and then there was another version that came out from Al Azif and it was called PS Free Dash Laps. Now what I'm currently noticing is is that the version from Al Azif is 1.5.1 .1, whereas the version that Chameleon has been working on is still version 1.5.0. So I'm not exactly sure why there's two repos storing this unless they all have different things that maybe they're trying to accomplish with this. But the repo that is the most actionable as of today is hands down going to be this one right here from Chameleon. Now, if we take a look down into this project, so in the readme, it states that the lapse Kex has been ported to 9.00, but it's still a bit of a work in progress. It says that it is very fast and reliable, but can a kernel panic and that it needs a bin loader and as well as some additional performance tweaks. Now, again, the rest of this information was in there before, but what is amazing is, is that today we can go ahead and at least give this a try on our PlayStation 4 9.00. Now, if we scroll up here and we look at the commits here, then we can see it's been pretty active. And what we can see is, is that right around the 12th and then especially the 15th, that 9.00 firmware of LAPS was ported. And again, this is just right here at 12 hours ago. There's been some additional edits on the README and then just a few things that cleaned it up. Now, I did try this late last night and I did get some errors, but the good news is, is that I've tried this today and it runs totally fine. Now, what is interesting about this is, is that when I ran this a little bit earlier today, and what you can see down here at the bottom is that it has the total time as 19 seconds, but the init time right here at just 15 seconds. If you run this, this is all that you're going to get. There is not going to be anything like debug settings and so forth. Now, Chameleon did post this on Twitter, and I'll leave a link to this where you can take a look at it. But there is a number of folks that kind of helped out with it. Um, Al Asif for the 9.00 kernel patches and then a few more people. Now, if we scroll down in this just a little bit here, we can see obviously the guidance of a person that was asking, I can finally move from 6.72 to 9.00. And again, the advice here is to wait until it is fully finished. Now, I go back over to Chameleon's Twitter feed here. There was a few more other pieces of information that was included. One of those I just mentioned was, was that this has minimum kernel patches, so you're not going to see debug settings until a hen is loaded, that is the homebrew enabler, or a bin loader is implemented. And yeah, I think at this point, let's just go ahead and give this a shot on our PlayStation 4. So here I am, I'm back over on my PlayStation 4 here, and as you can see, I'm not jailbroken or anything like that. And again, if I just come down here to system, system information, right there, I'm on 9.00. Now, I am connected to the internet right now, which means we should be able to go to a web browser. And 
run the exploits. I'm going to open up my browser here. Now, yesterday I was getting a whole bunch of error messages that were popping up. And so this time, look at that. It says kernel exploit succeeded. Wow, that was super fast there. So let's hit OK. And there it is. Wow, this was super fast here. So this is the current prototype that is out. Now, this does not have any sort of bin loader or anything like that with it, but it looks absolutely amazing. And right there, you can just see it says kernel exploit succeeded. So 9.00 users are going to be enjoying this quite a bit in the future. Okay, and so if you do want to try this, the only thing you need to do is to just have a 9.00 system and open up the web browser and just point directly to this URL here in the top. Now do keep in mind that there is no payload loader that is with this at this current moment. Anyways, stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be covering this in full detail as the days and the weeks and the months go by. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!